Can you guys see me? Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope you enjoyed the very last vlog. It ended up being more than 30 minutes. So I think that I'm in good standing where vlog content is considered. I know it was probably a little bit choppy, but I'm gonna get better about you know recording and having some content for you guys to look at and hopefully it won't be as choppy. So yeah, this is gonna be my second vlog on this channel. And um, today I'm just gonna talk a little bit about the world of entrepreneurship and how that can be so uncertain at times. That's kind of how I'm just gonna start off. We're going right into it. Um, currently I do freelance public relations services as my own business the caption girl public relations and um, a lot of things are happening really cool things I'm in the middle of a relaunch so I'm you know executing a brand new website which I'm very excited about um, servicing clients across the US some in Jamaica really cool stuff I just love everything about what I do um, and then of course this YouTube journey is just about kicking off so I'm so thrilled to share not only aspects of my personal life, but my business life as well, and kind of some of the things I get up to, some of the challenges I face, and just any words of encouragement or advice that I can provide to you just through my experiences. So um, right now it's what, mid, well, late April, um, going into early May, and um, I found myself in a very interesting space in my in my career slash business um, where a client that I've actually been working with for the past three years um, has decided to cut hours so what that means for someone who is freelance or works for themselves that means that they've prioritized a lot of the bulk of work for their full-time staff and um, those that work in you know freelance positions are not considered so and by not considered I mean not considered for the bulk of work so um, I have nothing but a good relationship with this company and so you know understanding shifts and changes and pivoting through these changes are so important as you work through the world of work um, I can only speak to someone that works in the world of corporate and you know client relationships and business it's a lot different for those that sell products but i'm in the services industry so i provide communications and consulting services and writing services editing services anything to do with communications and so a lot of the times um if there is no work for them to hand off to me and they prioritize it for the full-time staff then that interferes with the hours that I would have been committing and of course in turn the you know the invoicing portion of it the money etc um, I say all of this to say that there are so many moments of uncertainty in business and you really have to learn to pivot um, I always like to say have a plan have a plan B for your plan A and have a plan C for your plan B because had that been my only source of income I probably would have been in a more frightening situation right now, probably scrambling like what in the world, you know, or had I not been saving. Um, saving is a huge thing, um, especially in the world of, of working for yourself. You want to make sure you have that business savings account where, you know, you know, you're not trying to really touch that money. It's to help function um, in times of crisis or to keep your business afloat, etc. So um, those are some of the things that are currently happening with with my um, business and I wanted to share that, you know, that sometimes clients pull away, sometimes they reduce hours, sometimes um, things happen where it, it creates this kind of shift for you and you kind of have to learn how to move quickly. I think as a business owner, one of the top things that I've had to learn to do is to pivot and also to understand the importance of solving problems. Sitting with the idea of something going wrong is not solving it. Um, thinking through the steps, the tangible ways to get through the problem is solving it. 
So for example, in learning this, and I think I kind of learned this a, a few weeks back, I decided, okay, I need to seek new client opportunities. So instead of pining over the loss, you kind of want to reinstate your value, remind yourself, hey, I have what it takes and I can service other clients. And the great thing about it is the client relationship is not severed. It's just that hours are reduced. And in that case, you still have opportunity to work, but you do want to supplement your income, obviously, with other client-based opportunities. So that means pushing your services, um, advertising more, putting more content on social media, letting people know that you're open to work and you're open to accepting other client opportunities or other offers, other projects. I also think it's, again, having a plan B for your plan A, having a plan C for your plan B. If I hadn't had other clients, you know, it's always important for me to know that, okay, I have multiple streams of income and how I'll allocate each, you know? Nothing in life is actually sure or, or permanent in a sense. And it's important to be able to navigate through life, not only as a business owner, uh, or an entrepreneur, but in your daily life, if you are working in an industry in nine to five, for example, you want to make sure you have your out, have your next step, have your side hustle, have something that will perpetuate income if something does occur, you know? So yeah, that was kind of just on my heart. I was working and um, I just figured I would pause and kind of let you guys in on a few things that are happening in my business currently. And if you haven't checked out my business, definitely go to thecaptiongirl.com and look at some of the services that I provide. I'm so passionate about what I do. And um, it includes a range of services like personal branding, um, consultations, kind of career coaching, getting you through and understanding what your brand purpose is me and means, your mission, creating a brand guide, brand kits. I am passionate about that. I'm excited to help you all, whether you're watching this for the first time, whether you're new to the channel and you're a, a new subscriber or you're a returning subscriber to kind of help you walk through that journey. And um, as I said, I'm launching a new website i think i don't really want to put a date on it guys but it's it's epic i won't i won't even try to blow it it's just amazing stuff are going to be happening really soon it's a complete rebrand in a sense you guys are going to love it you'll be able to book me directly from that platform so i would say we are 90 percent finished with the site i haven't really spoken about it but i think it's worth it's worth talking about now because it's almost complete and once it launches, you will see the previews and kind of just how the site is navigated on all my social media platforms at Reagan S. Daily or at The Caption Girl. And from there, you'll be able to interact with it until, of course, you feel compelled to go onto the site and look at it. So, yeah, I say all of that to say I'm actually also traveling this week. Um, so yeah, this is my workstation. I'm sure I'll probably give you guys some B-roll. Please ignore this. <laughs> this was used to prop up the camera. Um, this is a card from some of my best friends. I'm supposed to be showing you guys my suitcase, but I saw this and I just have to show you guys how I love my friends so darn much. Anyway, Peter, why is my name spelled wrong here? Friends, do better. I love you guys, though. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is my friend Francesca. She's so sweet. I love her. Anyway, um, I'm sure I showed you guys the B-roll of this, or I will show you a little bit after this. Um, but yeah, this is my suitcase. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm traveling this week. Please ignore the mess. It this side actually looks a whole lot better. Like, you guys, please, don't, don't think I'm a messy person. <laughs> this side looks a whole lot better, but these are just other things I'm like, darn, I should pack this, I should pack that, and it kind of got thrown into the mess. Um, but yeah, I'm probably gonna stop this here because real life, I have work to do, and um, yeah, I have quite a bit of work to take care of. So, yeah, I think
think the next time you guys see me, I will be traveling. Kind of a checklist of things that I need to do when I do travel. I am considering, considering getting a new laptop because I've had this one since 2017 and it is 2022. And um, I think we're pushing on five years now. It might be time for an upgrade. So let's see. I'll probably visit the Apple store, show you guys that experience. I'll probably vlog the actual travel. Let's see if I remember to. <laughs> um, I'm actually going for a conference in Orlando. So I'll probably showcase a little bit of that if I can. And, you know, it's, it's a two-day two day conference. So it might be a case where hmm, it might be a case where it's too busy for me to even showcase everything that I'm doing, but we'll see. Um, but it's gonna be a really short turnaround, guys. So if I do find myself able to record, I will. But I, I'm starting off this vlog with this piece of love and advice and just sharing what's happening. Oh yeah, I'm also going to be doing my lashes this week. So let me show you guys how they look right now. Let's see if you guys can see. <laughs> Am I close enough? Hope I'm not like blurry because I swear this camera under focusing. But yeah, this is the length I have and it is, I think, uh, 14s, 15s, and I think 17s maybe. Ray, if you're watching this, please comment and let me know. But anyway... Um, yeah, I, I'm going to be getting a shorter link, um, for the conference because I just think short is a bit more professional and even though I do enjoy wearing, please don't use this as any judgment of how my lashes usually look because I usually, usually have them done, um, and they look far better than this, especially when they're just done. And I promise I'm going to show you guys them once they are done. I think I'm going to get... 10s, 11s, 12s, somewhere off there for this actual trip so that I can have that cute professional look. I'm gonna get my hair done tomorrow as well. So once I get all of those things done and I'm all fixed up, I'll check in with you guys and show you guys, yeah, a little bit about how I put myself together as I approach this conference, right? So yeah, the conference is actually with one of the clients that I work with in California and this is going to be my first time meeting them so I'm very excited and um, I'm really thrilled to see what a conference in their industry looks like so yeah you guys will probably be yeah so the next time I check in with you guys will probably be when I am traveling so see you guys all right guys I'm headed oh my gosh why am I on the wrong side <laughs> you can tell it's been a long day I'm headed to get my lashes done I figured I would vlog this for you guys. Okay. Don't mind, my car is super dirty. I live a very busy life and that's no excuse, but I honestly, guys, I honestly don't have the time right now. And the area I live, they're doing construction. So, yeah, there is, there's a lot going on. I hope you guys can see me. There's a lot going on. And um, I haven't been able to wash my car. So, yeah. 
I'll probably wash it when I get back from my trip though because I leave tomorrow and yeah I'm just gonna take you guys with me yeah I'm just gonna take you guys with me I'm already late <clears throat> but we move right these are my lashes right now all of these are coming off and we're getting a shorter set so yeah let's go um, I'll catch y'all when I get there Bye. It's okay, boo. You still look cute, though. Don't worry. Period, boo. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, you do. All right, guys. So I'm going to do my lashes today. I already show you guys how they looked before, and then you guys will get an after. Period. See if we can get a good shot of these lashes. That's where we used to, when we used to sit on up there, son? Yeah. And they, they come in today with a look pan. Oh, yes. the time when we, we did go to the food place up there, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You've been to so many places. You know, I you know. Remember. Jeez. You live a good life. Yeah. I'm blessed, and, to be yeah, honest. And, 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 and I love that. Yeah. It's God, though. I give everything to Him. It is. I Honestly. Love I love that for you. Mm -hmm. like, it fits you. Thank you. I really appreciate and, that. And, and, and you have a good heart. Thank so that, like, you. I remember you, like, you have enough tricks for, like, them hot because, hey, not the boat in the friend. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, please. Oh, thank you. Like, every time I like, go through my page, I'm at this one, follow me. Mm -hmm. And they reach your picture, the first thing. Yo, hold on, you remember see that picture there? Everybody want to know how that be there. Oh, that's Persons funny. Persons who have your beauty, have your brains, mm -hmm. have, you know, the lifestyle that you have, yeah, you know, they're not so nice. They're so yeah. friendly to people. They don't have that kind of that heart giving, loving people. spirit. Exactly. I feel like for me though, it's because of my humble beginnings. Right. Because my parents, like their life and how they grew, was not like luxury. Yeah. But they made. And your mommy, lovely. your mommy seemed really, 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 really sweet. Yeah, well I down mean, to earth, you know. Really, really, really sweet. Your yeah. dad was the guy I saw at the time in Progressive in the white shirt, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The time that a girl that worked with me now. She got the ring. Yes, I received. No. Oh, God. 
Look at that. Look. Honestly, me and my dad, we move so close. Anybody would probably assume. But like, that's my dad. But that's I'm weird. Telling, man, it's true. <laughs> yeah, 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 hot. Mm -hmm. I you know the majority of them are getting a lot of work. That is true, though. You know? see me? That I is just so feed true. them kind of lifestyle. That's what them behave. That is so, so true. That's the reason why people always assume that. But like, me didn't really appreciate father because y'all resemble. Yeah, for sure. No, man, you know, look at that, man. For sure. Which airline is it? American. I don't think their line is long. Uh -huh. They're so close now. Oh my god. Right? Why don't like to give up anybody except Mrs. Watson? You read the Bible, Greg? Yes! So there's this passage. Ezekiel 25 17. The path of the righteous man is beset on all sides by the iniquities of the selfish and the tyranny. got my airpods and my charger so I had my driver go pick it up and he's gonna pull up right now I'm mad I'm so big mad right now so upset but I have to do what I have to do I have to do what I have to do I think he's here now is that his car Right, this is Thank 3, you, Please let that be enough, okay? Woke in the morning, can't remember nothing. Two bitches just flowing from London. Two bitches. The thing I remember, they calling me daddy. The matchup was covered in money. Honey, I'm sleeping with my jewelry and chains on. Had to wake up and recount the money. I got a bitch, she gon' kill for real. Talking about Clyde and Bunny. Go with the kid, copy. Got to pull up with a stick, stop it, stop it. Rich nigga shit, stop Rich nigga, oh, honey, fuck his body. Hey guys, so I made it to the airport. I am tired. I really didn't get much sleep last night. It's just really exhausted. Just a lot going on, a lot to do, but I am here. I made it. I'm safe. Thank God. Um, it's interesting. Not many people are wearing masks anymore, so I guess the mask mandate has really been lifted in a lot of ways. Um, but people are still social distancing and encouraging um, social distancing. But most of the people I've been seeing and observing around me aren't wearing masks. So I took mine off. But when I get on the plane, I am surely going to be putting it back on. But it just feels so much better being able to sit and not have to worry about your mask. Oh, where's my mask? Uh, it's just, for one, the mask gets so dirty in the airport anyway. It just defeats the purpose honestly but at least you know i feel a little bit safer knowing that i'm vaccinated and yeah anyway i was just checking in with you guys this begins my trip and um i yeah i'm excited for this short but yeah interesting trip i'll be meeting a few clients for the first time so yeah i'll check in with you guys as it goes along I'll try to vlog as much as I can, but we'll see. Hey guys, checking in with you all. And it's moving across the runway. But, um, yeah guys, I am about to start my trip. Uh, my face is breaking out due to just tiredness and darn stress. But I hope to get some well-needed well rest, as well as get everything I need to get done you know I'm traveling for a conference so I'm excited to meet my clients that I've been working with for quite some time and yeah I will keep y'all posted
might go put all my chains on. I just might change up the wall, change. She pop a perk and pussy wet up. I make the bitch at Coachella. If she new Nutella, she probably do better. But can I get an E for F? I pray to God to watch my sins. God, the form that gets me not a weapon. No weapon. I got some where do I begin? Devil trying to take my blessings. They don't know the meaning of the white. Nah, you don't really live this life. Nope. Niggas in the hood, shoot twice. So my niggas in the hood, shoot precise. Real wise, we ain't taking no advice. Nah, I realize that these hoes ain't right. All Don't even ask cause they know what's the price. price. Ain't got a snow, they already know it's white. I talk to God cause I've been baptized. baptized. I got my vibe to the no side. Now slow with the sticks on the nigga straight slime. Who'd like to be the first to walk from you back to reality and into Miami? Local time is 8 08 p.m. so it's the next day and i have some updates i lost my vlogging camera now it's not lost lost but it's misplaced i left it in my lift that carried me to my destination and i let's just say i had a full-on panic attack freaked out through everything everywhere when i tell you footage is on this device and i'm just grateful that the person who took me um the driver the lift driver who took me to my destination actually found it and responded and was so sorry guys my phone died <laughs> but yeah um luckily he was willing and able to bring there's a strand of hair in my face oh there we go willing and able to bring me the camera back i'm so grateful so so grateful <laughs> i'm eating a cookie i'm stress eating because it's been a heck of a morning but yeah i just wanted to check in with you guys update you on where, where that's concerned i gave him a really nice tip because i was like man if it was me i would want to be compensated to drive all the way back to the destination to you know like give over this camera so i'm just grateful to god thank god that it was found because yes i was considering getting a new vlog camera but maybe this was god's way of saying listen no take your time yes it's a big hefty camera but it does the job right now so don't spend extra money on a camera that you don't need need right now you know still on my list but i think everything in the right timing and i'm just learning to value the fact that i do have a device i do have a workable camera that provides excellent quality it's just that it's a little bit big. So for now, I guess this is a lesson I wanted to share it with you guys. A lesson in appreciating what you have and thanking God when things actually work out. All right? So that's all for now. I'll check in with you guys a little later. Probably when I get my camera back. Today, I don't really have too many plans. I might go to Target. Mm -hmm. I have a presentation a little later with um Yui Mona Campus Humanities Department. They invited me to speak on personal branding and I'm so excited because as you all know, that's what I love to do and that's where my niche is and you know, that's what my career is all about. Branding yourself in a way that resonates to your true and authentic self. And so I'm very, very excited to talk today. I might record a little bit of me presenting. Who knows? But yeah, that's all. As I go, I'll let you know. So I just got the call that he was on his way here to the house. So let's see. Oh, yay! He came! Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, thank you. Okay, don't worry. Yes, I really okay. appreciate it. Okay, thank you, bye bye. <laughs> All right, so I got my camera back. Oh, God is so good. I'm so excited.
your personal brand discussion conceptualized by the Faculty of Humanities and Education. My name is Lenny Sprayson, and I am joined by Leanna Richards, and who will be your host for this event. Form of personal branding so that you may be equipped for the working world. So I hope you guys pay keen attention to our guest speakers, Regan Daly and Carrie Stewart. So guys, <clears throat> I went shopping today. As you can see, I have a bunch of things in this Primark bag. I'm in bed. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I wanted to just check in with you guys really quickly. Um, let me see if that's actually catching me the way I want it. Okay guys, so today was a long day, a very hectic day. Um, I had fun though because I went shopping, just a little bit of shopping, some quick items that I needed from Target and then I got some basics from Primark that I really needed. So probably tomorrow I will do a quick unboxing, you know, just showing you guys what I got. Um, yeah but i just wanted to check in with you guys i got my camera back thank god um honestly i already talked about the dilemma with that i really need to be more careful with how i you know just monitor my movements and things like that because it could it could have gone a different way it could have gone where they didn't find the camera or it was stolen or something like that but i thank god that it actually worked out where I got my camera back because honestly it's a big camera um, and it's pretty expensive and the quality is excellent it's just so hard to carry it around and vlog with it <clears throat> but I think God is telling me like listen I appreciate what you have until you're able to buy your vlog camera so that is what I'm focusing on just appreciating it tomorrow is a is it gonna be an exciting day and I'm gonna try and vlog it for you guys I am getting a new MacBook Pro that's exciting so they're going to be taking this one I've had this one since 2017 <clears throat> so about five years now so it's like where I began my content creation journey so this baby means so much to me my dad actually bought this for me thanks dad love you so much and um yeah, this is the first MacBook I'm actually ever buying my own self, honestly. So, you know, it's it's like, it feels like progression. It feels like, wow, like, I can afford this on my own now. That's really cool, you know? And, like, it's a hefty price point. But luckily, as I said, like, we're trading this one in. So, some amount of money is going to come off of the original price of it um, as a trade-in value, if that makes sense. So, yeah, um... So tomorrow they're coming to drop it off to me and, excuse me, oh, I'm so tired, what was I going to say? Yeah, they're coming to drop it off to me and they're going to help set it up. So I'll try to vlog that for you guys and just, you know, hopefully we can get it all figured out tomorrow before my work week starts. Um, so right now it's Saturday, so my work week obviously starts on Monday. I want to make sure I have everything ready and again, you know... I look at these investments and they are investments as part of my career because honestly I work from home I do everything on my computer so I think it's necessary to have a fully functioning working device powerful you know I'll always decide to invest in something that will enhance my journey so yeah I'm excited and I will I will I will definitely show you guys um, tomorrow what it looks like and everything. It's 256 gigs, 30, 13 inches. Um, I think it's space gray. So 
yeah, tomorrow I will check in with you guys again. For now, I'm just going to chill, probably watch some YouTube. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to show you guys tomorrow. Okay? See you. Right, guys so this is the new macbook probably gonna do an official unboxing very soon in b-roll but about one hour and 19 minutes to transfer from my old one to my new one she is so pretty she is gorgeous so pretty and it has the touch bar i am in love with that oh my god To the head of flow, already fed the pole. The niggas are scared to go. Hey, 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 hey. I clean up like hands and soap. Get a meat lady drag on the floor. It's a nine in the bed that I told. Working hard, we ain't having no hope. Bitch on the man, bitch on the man. We no advance. Give my nigga a chance. Try and see what he gon' do. He the red of them bands. I done got me some bands too. I can drip on the ground too. So my hood let it down too. I can't decide. What's so going call my ride? Uh, the Phantom Rose body is what? I made the boy bleed out the watch. Uh, I put some more rocks in the watch. Middle finger to the cops. Uh, Meek is the world like two pop. Say the wrong word cause you shot. The whole world love you when you hot. They got he gave me a shot. They say much they thought I was shy. I took off and went straight to the top. They can't fit me a nigga too high. You need to start living a lie. You know we keep this like a shot. I know I be rich before I die. They won't respect you till you try. been such a long it's been such a long day guys I'm so exhausted um, but tomorrow is the very last day of the trade show and I would have been two three days now on the road traveling for work and um, yeah I'm just very excited to be here and to serve in an industry that allows me to learn more about associations and condo health it's so much fun learning about this stuff and just you know working in various industries just working in the capacity as a marketing person the person that they call on for various tasks and you know being able to speak on behalf of the company promote the company I just love doing what I do guys and I'm sure I'll continue to do that you know so yeah right now my hair is a bit flat i had curled it earlier but i'm so exhausted <laughs> have i said that like 10 times already um but now i'm gonna go see my family that lives on this side and hang out with them i have baby cousins that i haven't seen in a while so i'm gonna go see them and um yeah just hang out a bit trade show has been really good though i've met a lot of people learned a lot of things networked sent out business cards you know just doing just doing networking things so yeah this is what i wore today just a button down um with business business pants i got these from old navy yeah these business pants from old navy this button down from Ralph Lauren so yeah that's what I've been up to working and traveling traveling and working and now yeah I'm about to go see my family so yeah the next time I probably pick up this camera will be when I'm leaving and going to Jamaica 
so yeah this might be a short vlog i don't know what else i'll show all right y'all love you guys see you when i pick this camera up again <laughs> guys my view from the hotel room this is the orlando area as you can see very pretty beautiful um tennis court lake and then way in the distance you can see the or yeah so the orlando eye is way over there as you can see and yeah this is the view of the hotel very pretty this is my hotel room um very cozy cute simple and this is me it's um it's actually a domestic flight so i'm not sure if it's like a different terminal but the same terminal. okay cool 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 buddy here for work yeah i um i came for a conference trade show okay. so it was fun and it's been like a nice few days in orlando so where are you from um originally from jamaica but i'm headed back to fort lauderdale now okay. yeah That's yeah quick little trip <laughs> so yeah my house is right there where the where the bentley is i'm like <laughs> <laughs> and I look at his, I'm like, yo, what do you do, dude? Yeah. He's like, well, I'm a Spanish rapper. I, I started the rapping industry. Wow. He had, a, he had a Bentley and four slingshots. Okay. Right there in his driveway. Wow. And I'm like, and when I told my wife who I had, mm -hmm. she went crazy. Who, oh, what, what, who was it? His, uh, his name is MC Sejas. Okay. And he's like from way back in the days. Uh huh. He started rapping before Daddy Yankee. Okay. The Yam. Before all these guys. Right, right. He, 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 he was one of the founders. Yeah, he was one of the main people that started the reggaeton industry. Okay, okay. So I didn't know him, but I started more or less when Daddy Yankee mm -hmm. was about to start rapping more mm -hmm. or less. Mm -hmm. Like in the, what's it, 1997, 8, around there I started? Right. Then got way back. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. In the early 90s. That's dope. So I didn't know him. Like, he's like, look me up. When I looked him up, I was like, oh. <laughs> pictures with all these other rappers that i know like, that's damn. funny yeah. you never know who you'll meet yeah talk oh uh, all the ubers and this we taking nobody talks yeah uh, well, <laughs> just talk with me i'm a talker oh well talk. yeah <laughs> talking is always yeah. good <laughs> and they're like oh my god yeah but it's awkward when you get in the car with nobody with somebody that you don't know and they don't even talk is and it's weird yeah we're having somebody back there you just drive so yeah, that, that's a little bit about what I do. You know, I try to keep brands alive. Yeah. <laughs> keep them relevant, keep especially... Them yeah, moving. exactly. Especially small businesses because yeah. they don't have the time. Usually it's just maybe a four-person team, you know? They don't have time to sit on Instagram and write captions all day and publish content, you know? And make TikToks and do those fun yeah. things. <laughs> and all that. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. The reels, those reels. Yeah, the reels and stuff. It takes effort. What are you flying through again? Sorry? What oh, spirit. spirit. Yeah, spirit. Yeah, those reels, you know, a lot of, that reaches a lot too. Mm hmm. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Mm hmm. That takes time. Yeah, that for sure. Time. Like, I'm so busy that I can't. I post exactly. pictures of an event that I did. Right. Like back to back events. Mm -hmm. Like she did something for Michael Jordan. Right. She did like, oh, here's the 2500. Oh, His nice. birthday was here. Okay. So they called her up. Listen, we need these balloons right away. Mm -hmm. How much will you charge? Yeah. And she was there right there. 2500, drop of a dime. Mm -hmm. um, decorated his whole camper. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. But it took her weeks before she could post those pictures. Of course. And that's the thing. And like. And with those things, you want to be on it. You yeah. want to be like, oh, I did Michael Jordan's thing while he was in town, yeah. you know? So people know, oh, yeah. you're a big timer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it took her time. Like, I was like, yo, I want to say a picture what you did. Mm -hmm. Realizing my wife, what she do, what she do? Yeah. Oh, she busy, she hasn't been able to post it. Yeah, for sure. So yeah, that's a little bit about what I do. That's cool. That's cool because it gives you the flexibility of mm -hmm. Working, working from, from home, working yeah. from anywhere, traveling if I can. Yeah. 
it's a it's a beautiful industry and i like it not everybody likes to be social yeah but yeah, it's really fun it right? is it's not natural it. mm -hmm. a lot of people are like Kevin, yeah shy uh, <laughs> not people person mm -hmm. i mean i think i am shy sometimes but i know when to activate my yeah. friendly yeah, fun yeah. side <laughs> Followers you get, you mm -hmm. even get sponsors, right? Like people oh, yeah. want to sponsor you. Hey, come yes. over here. Yes. Eat for free. Yeah. Take pictures of our food. Yeah, and it all starts with just starting. Yeah. You yeah. never know. Like, a lot of these people have been doing this for years, yeah. five, six years of YouTube. Yeah. Getting those those followers. Hey guys, so I'm having the latest brunch lunch of life. It's you wouldn't believe. It's like three p.m. <clears throat> and I said to myself, I can't continue like this. I have to eat something. So I'm about to make eggs and hot dogs. So I'll catch you guys back. And after that, you guys are going to see the finished product. All right, y'all. I'm not a chef or anything, but I did like a fried egg, um, hot dog, and then I'm having this ginger beer. <clears throat> The next time y'all see me, I'm gonna be doing a haul, okay? I'm trying to make this vlog go. Hey guys, so today we're gonna be doing an Amazon haul. I'm really excited to share with you guys. We only have three minutes as per usual, so let's get right to it. So I took them out the box already, but I ordered these candles. They're like decorative candles. They have the bubbly looking texture and um, they're decorative. I don't think I'll ever light these, but how cute, okay? They smell, actually smell really good too. So I think it'll be a nice way to enhance my space. Next, I ordered this heart cup or heart mug. So when you put whatever it is that you choose in here, whether it's juice, water, tea, because tea can actually go into this um, based on the material of the glass. And it's shaped like a heart. I don't know if you guys can see, but yeah. Whenever anything goes in here, it will be heart shaped. Right up my alley. <laughs> All right, quickly. The next thing I ordered was this new makeup case. It's kind of already open and it has things in there that it shouldn't. <laughs> But yeah, um, here's how it looks. These are the compartments. And I actually ordered another one to this. I'm going to be getting it in the mail today. So if I prefer that one to this one, then I might return this one. But it has the same concept. Um, you can actually lift here and put your brushes. Just something more structured, you know? My makeup case before was just everywhere and I did not like that. Okay, how much minutes do we have? A minute. All right, let's go. This is another piece from Amazon that I ordered already out the box. Sorry, guys. I was too excited. So these are nude, kind of beige textured kitchen utensils. And I just love how they look. It's silicone and bamboo. So let me pull one out for you. This is how it looks. In love. Can't wait to have this set up in my home and um yeah the very last thing from amazon are these body washes i'm obsessed with these so they are from a brand called ogx i believe um as you can see at the bottom here and this is the rose water and pink sea salt and this one is the coconut and coffee I have been using this one a little bit as you can see it's already started but <laughs> this one is my favorite highly recommend if you like coffee flavors warm flavors anything that smells like warm and inviting and homely this is the body wash for you I actually love how rose water smells so that's what got me interested in this and then the other item I'm going to unbox is not from Amazon, but from my best friend. And I'm gonna tag her in this video because I love her so much. But yeah, these Burberry sunglasses that she bought for me, these are actually for my birthday, but it was just delayed, you know? And I just got them and I'm gonna try them on with you guys. This is how they look. It came in this nice Burberry box in love. 
see how they look on me. Ooh, please check this out. I look so fly. So fly, so fly. Perfect for the summer. So, hey guys. It is the next day. I'm exhausted as per usual, but I have a lot of things to get done before my flight to Jamaica. So, I am going to be going to the UPS store to drop off some packages. And so I just ordered my Uber and I'm going to head over there. Figured I would just check in with you guys. I'm also doing some laundry as we speak. So I'm going to go ahead and get that out. Got this new Marnie bag. How cute is it? Anyway. Let me switch over the stuff from the washer to the dryer. Any second, the Uber driver should be here. So I really need to be by the phone to answer to let them in. The house phone, that is. Who do I think I am? I have shades on in the house. That's because I'm headed out, guys. All right, let's see. I think, oh, oh. right on time. Drop off these packages. We have to be carrying so many packages. I'm returning, no. I'm sending my MacBook, the old one, to Mac for a trade-in. And then I have some bags that I'm selling to this company called Rebag. So, yeah, I need to eat this orange really quick, this tangerine. I wonder if I can peel it in time before they get here. Hmm. I got my Marnie bag. I just unboxed it for my TikTok a while ago but i love her she's so cute and it's like kind of mini if you see how small it is compared to me cute but yeah um i bought that from i think it was Saks. Yeah. i'm already tired to be honest so yeah i'll catch up with you guys soon i don't know if i'm gonna vlog going home but anyway, I'll catch up with you guys when I take the camera up again. Bye. <laughs> okay, we have it right there. Okay, awesome. Oh, Jonathan, one question. Is he able to split up a red card with another card? Uh, yeah. Let me see. I'll come on the other side. Thank you. When are you leaving? Tuesday. Already? How long are you there? Like two weeks. You just a meet you? No. Two <laughs> weeks. Boy, it's never too late for business. Take a picture of my business card. I only have one of that. Okay. I'm private. Okay. You can keep this one so you can remember my handsome face. I'm a realtor. Nice. So when, you get, when you get, when you have um, friends and family looking to buy a house here, Mm -hmm. They have friends here, you just let them know they have a friend named Anton. Don't tell them this lift driver. I'm a professional. Sometimes some people think lift driver can be anything else but lift driver. Mm. Yeah, that's so true. Service industry. So, I come out of my corporate job, and this is what I'm doing now. But it helps me to give up my business card. Okay, well, that's and good. I'm sorry, I'll take another deck. You the other one already? I, can I keep them or you want them back? Oh, yeah, you can keep both of them. Back. Okay. Yeah, that's the gig, girl. You have to um, have an entrepreneur mindset. What do you do? 
Uh, communications and marketing. Hey guys, so I am closing out this vlog very impromptuly. I am at the airport again. I feel like this vlog, I've probably been at the airport more times than once. Maybe like three, four times. I don't remember all the footage that I have. But either way, I'm going back to Jamaica. Um, my flight is on time. It's like seven o'clock in the morning. And um, yeah, my flight's on time. The plane already got here. And I'm freezing cold. I'm so ready to just be home, tired. So yeah, I'm closing out. I think this is probably a very short vlog. But either way, I'm happy I was able to show you guys a few things and I will see you guys in the next vlog. I probably will do some footage of me landing in Jamaica though. But yeah, I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Love you guys so much. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. I can't wait to get home, get my nails done, get my lashes filled. Oh, I feel so messy. I feel like when I'm not home for a very long time, I end up just needing everything done. So, there's that. But yeah, I have this little bun in. My hair is on its struggle bus. It's exhausted. Oh. But yeah guys, I'll check in with y'all. Bye. Alright guys, I'm back. Didn't really vlog too much, but I'm closing out and we'll pick up in the next vlog. See ya.